This is In for Life TV, headline news, February 13th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Both Syria and Hezbollah accused Israel Wednesday of being behind the death of the top Hezbollah commander, Imad Magnia, who was killed in a car bomb in a Damascus suburb late Tuesday night. Unconfirmed reports claim that Khaj Hussein Khalil, the deputy commander of Hezbollah's political wing, was also killed in the blast. Israel has denied any involvement. Mugnia, who headed the FBI and Israel's most wanted list for decades, was responsible for numerous attacks in which hundreds were killed, including the 1994 bombing of the Argentine Jewish community and the bombing of the U.S. Marines and French Army barracks in Lebanon in 1983. He is also responsible for the 2006 abduction of two IDF reservists, Eldad Regev and Udi Goldvassil. After hosting Defence Minister Hud Barak in Ankara, Turkish Defence Minister Vekdi Gonol told reporters that the proposed purchase of the Israeli made OFEC satellite was under discussion at the technical level. After meeting with his Turkish counterpart, Barak told reporters that Israel views Turkey as a power that projects self confidence and understands the problems of the region. Convinced that the question of borders is the simplest of the three core issues in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the other two being refugees in Jerusalem, and that sufficient preparatory work has been done for progress to be achieved, Prime Minister Olmert told reporters Tuesday that it is possible to advance significantly the resolution of the issue of borders in negotiations between Israel and the Palestinian Authority. Two Qassam rockets were fired Wednesday afternoon from the northern Gaza Strip towards the town of Sterot. One of the rockets directly hit a house in the town. Several people suffered from shock and one person was taken to hospital. The attack occurred just hours after Foreign Minister Livni visited the town, accompanied by a delegation of foreign diplomats. Senator Barack Obama powered past Hillary Rodham Clinton in the race for Democratic Convention delegates on a night of triumph sweetened with outsized primary victories in Maryland, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. Tonight we're on our way, he told cheering supporters as he celebrated eight straight victories over Clinton. The World Bank said on Tuesday Israel and the Palestinian Authority should open the Palestinian mobile phone sector to competition in order to improve efficiency and lower tariffs. The Paltel Group, whose subsidiary Jawal is the only authorized mobile operator in the West Bank and Gaza, effectively operates as a monopoly. Elsewhere on InfoLife TV, from Berlin to Jerusalem, an interview with the Israeli producer, Bride Zavala. That's all for InfoLife TV, Israel's only internet television website that broadcasts in four languages to the world. InfoLife.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolife.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, Infolive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access Infolive.tv.